Hi Ben here and welcome back to the workshop for another Work in Progress Wednesday. So today I've got to fit a few handles to some knives and I've been meaning to do it for a while and I need to basically make a new step drill for fitting my loveless bolts to the handles. Now a step drill can be purchased but I find that they don't tend to work particularly well and they're very difficult to sharpen so I produce my own uh, counterboard drill bit by using a normal twist bit and basically making it so that it's got a pilot and then a proper size that will accommodate the, the bolt of the uh, loveless bolt. You can make these to fit loveless bolts, you can make them to fit Corby bolts, but basically it means you're self-sufficient and you can make every kind of size you need and also you can sharpen them really easily as well. So I'm going to show you how I go about producing one of these counterboards. So first off, people might not know what a loveless bolt is. A loveless bolt is a means of fastening handle scales to a knife. This is a sort of uh, dummy scale that I've produced. So the bolt itself on my loveless bolts is 4mm in diameter here. So I drill a 4mm hole all the way through my handle material and through obviously uh, locates to the hole in the tang of the knife. And then afterwards, once you've got it all fitted and you're happy, the final step is to put in this counterboard that you can see here. And that creates this shelf which this larger diameter sleeve nut will sit against and help pull all the handle materials dead tight onto the tang of the knife. So this is basically what we're trying to create. Now, trying to create this counter bore by just using the approximate size hole, which for this sleeve nut is about 8.5 mil. They're actually imperial, they're 5 16 and quarter inch that I use, but I use metric drill bits because it gives you just a little bit of extra space because you need to create a bit of a gap there for your epoxy to go in but also if it's too tight you literally physically won't get that in there and there's a chance that you might split the handle material so I use two sizes I use this size the 5 16 nut or 8.5 um, and I use this size which is quarter inch which is about I will I actually use a 6.5 mil drill for that one um, the first thing you do before you go about making your step drill is to get some scrap material of your handle material that you're going to use and test the different drill sizes. I've got a box of drill bits that literally goes up in point, point zero point 0.1 of a mil so you can really fine tune the fit but if you have it too tight as, as I say you won't get the bolt in and you certainly won't have any, any glue room for any glue. So what I've actually found is yeah 6.5 seems to work about right and that will create this nice little socket this little hole for that nut to sit into but also leave a bit of room for some epoxy to go in there as well so yeah that seems a good fit so yeah we'll take this 6.5 drill bit and we'll turn it into one of our step drills so we've come through to the grinding room we've got our tool rest set up and uh, this is a 120 grit belt I think it is on this one but I've chosen a belt that's got a really nice sharp corner to it Set your tool rest as close as you can. I've actually stuck a one, two, three block on here just so that I've got a nice hard raised surface there. And I fitted the drill to my cordless drill. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna very carefully, not too fast, run this and run the grinder at the same time and just touch that against the belt, keeping this drill bit supported on this hardened one, two, three block. And I'm just gonna slowly push into the belt sort of removing that steel and I'm also going to keep checking it I'm basically going to keep measuring it until that measures four mil approximately on that sort of pilot that we're going to create so yeah let's get on with that going to check this diameter and at the moment we're about 4.4 something like that 4.5 so basically better to be that side of the uh, the mark really so I can put that back in the drill bit and just take a little bit more off those sides until we get down to that 4 mil So we've taken our time and I've kept checking it as I've been grinding that and I'm pretty much, that's about 3.9, <laughs> 3.99 so yeah that's that's pretty good, that's pretty as accurate as we want it to be. 
So now at this stage, we've got that pilot that will be the right size for our bolt hole. So that's the four mil. And obviously we've got these shoulders that will create the sharp edges of the counter bore, but it, they won't be sharp at the moment. They won't cut the actual cutting edge. So what we need to do is we need to sharpen the drill bit. Now you can refer to our sharpening a drill bit video because it's pretty much the same technique. The only difference being is that we've obviously we've got this sort of central shaft that is in the way. So what I've done is I've moved the belt so that I've now got this really hard crisp shoulder and I've got it hanging over the uh, platen just ever so slightly. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start cutting and creating a slightly flatter uh, cutting edge there because the, the bottom of the counterboard doesn't wanna be too tapered. Um, and I'm just gonna carefully put that slight angled cutting edge on there and then we can remove some of this excess material from behind. So I've come over to my pillar drill. Now this is the pillar drill that I've got set up for doing my counter bores. And I've got this extra bit of plywood on there. And what I do with my uh, table of my drill press is that I actually make sure that I set the table height so that when I pull this drill bit down, you can see that there's probably about maybe four, three and a half, four mil from the cutting edge of the drill bit to the top of this plywood. And that's gonna create that little shelf. I've got a slight recess in this plywood so that the tip can pass all the way through. So that's pretty much set to the right height now. And then I've got some of my scrap handle material. This is a piece of uh, Bacata. So I'm gonna test it on there. Just to save a bit of noise, I normally have extraction running so it sucks the chips away, but we'll keep that off for today. Get the drill running. And then what we're gonna do is let that piler find that hole. This is why that pilot is so sort of critical really. That sort of helps find that centre and then we can hold the material tight and then drill in. And then we draw it. So we'll give that a test run. So you can see that we've got that little shelf at the bottom of the hole and what I've done is I've just carefully countersunk it slightly to take off that hard edge and then we'll give it a test run. So like I say, these are the quarter inch bolts, but that's a pretty good fit actually. That's not too tight. Sometimes if you have them too tight, you can't get them in. And plus composite handle materials tend to, when you drill them, they tend to sort of like almost close back up slightly. So I think that's gonna be pretty much perfect for these little quarter inch bolts. This is Makata. I'm gonna also just test it quickly on some wood as well, make sure that it's gonna work for both components. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. So I've tested that drill bit now on the composite materials and also stabilized woods and unstabilized timbers and it seems to be working really well. The one thing I would say is if you use this kind of drill bit, if it's not a cobalt or fancy drill bit, if it's only a high speed steel one, you'll find that it will dull quite easily on G10, which is glass fiber. But you can use that same technique that we showed you how to produce the drill bit just to keep it sharp and keep those corners nice and sharp and it'll work perfectly well. The great thing about this is that you can make these step drills or counter bores to fit any handle fastenings that you want to use. You're not sort of beholden to what you can actually source online really. So hope that helps. Hope that helps all you up and coming knife makers that are out there. Hope you've enjoyed seeing what we're working on this Wednesday. And remember to tune in next week for another Work in Progress Wednesday.